You know, I was, uh, I think it was an article in, in the reader about you two, and David, you referred to a slow comedy. That's uh -huh. what you guys do. And, and just looking at that movie and, and seeing your show, you really do seem to, you're not afraid of taking your time with where you go. Yeah, uh, that's w the way that uh, we used to be taught okay. uh, by uh, Del Close this, uh, back in, uh, back in the uh, mid-1980s. Okay. Um, and uh, that's what he called it back then, too. Okay. This uh, slow comedy. Do you ever, I mean, when you say used to be taught, is, are you I don't know. I don't, I don't take classes uh, now, so I'm not <laughs> sure what they're teaching. But I don't think, I don't think they, f they focus on that much anymore. I, mean, I teach. Okay. Um, uh, and, uh, yeah, well, the slow, slow is kind of a misnomer. It, it doesn't necessarily have to be slow. It's slow for me because I get easily confused, so <laughs> it takes time to remember what, what you said uh, just a, a couple seconds ago. Um, but slow is uh, whatever pace it works at. You just don't, uh, you just don't sell out your partner. Okay. Uh, you, don't, you don't crap out your partner for the joke that appeals to the audience necessarily. You've got to stay you got to stay. Uh, here. Well, tell me about that a little bit because I've heard that, and you've just said it, that you don't go for the joke, but how do you end up with something that's funny? He just funny? took something. He just took something of yours. <laughs> Someone stop him. I got a computer in here. <laughs> um, I think we were talking about jokes, jokes and, yeah. Im and Im Im improvisers hate them. Uh, yeah, uh, for the mo I mean, the idea of just a joke as a joke, I think, is not helpful to the scene, and uh, it's difficult to c continue a scene if it's just based in a joke. It's, okay. It should be based in a relationship. It's it's just easier that way. We should we should say, I guess, exactly what you guys do every Wednesday night. That would be great to hear. Do you want me to do it? Yes, or do I would love to hear. What if I screw it up? Then no, we'll you, correct I, I, you. Yeah, we'll correct. We'll correct you. Uh, okay. But okay. I, I, it's it's a difficult thing to explain. I think every Wednesday evening at 11 p.m. or so, they put on an improvised play. Uh, there's no suggestions, there's no games. Uh, they just get up there, they start, and they tell a story. How'd I do? Great. Real good. Yeah. Real, real nice, good. Nicely done. Yeah. You yeah. missed the part where we bore the shit out of everybody. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> well, here's right the thing. The I went once, I went a few weeks ago. It was really cold. I got there, sold out. Then I went the day that it must have been 30 below you know, with the windshield, and I barely got a seat. I mean, you guys, and it's 11 p.m. I mean, how do you, how do you do it? Thankfully, nerddom and improv runs deep. <laughs> uh, we are, we are like all of us nerds keep on showing up, whether it's whether it's 20 below or or, or 80 degrees. But we, we're lucky enough to have um, a bunch of nice folks who who come around and. Uh, and uh, you know, uh, uh, big groups of college students who, mm -hmm. who might just be right on the red line, and so you know, like run run from the dorm to the red line, and, and then you're not far from IO once you get once sure. You get there. One of the things about it is it, it is you know it doesn't it it, it is always vastly different, so uh, you can go more than once as yeah. opposed to like a review show where it's like oh you, we've already seen that we got to wait another eight months till they change it. Do you feel like you have nights where you think, wow that sucked, or are there are nights that you're like that was one of the best we've ever done. I think only, wow, that was the best we've ever done. That's all, that's the I only. balance them by thinking they always suck. <laughs> uh, yeah, uh, were you there two days ago? No. Well then. Blue. It was, uh, Did it really? Oh, yeah, it was. Uh, <laughs> what happened? There are slap Did singles. You? This was a real odd chop that hit outside the third base line and just kicked right into the stands. <laughs> Uh, but it's just it, in general, they, it seems to go pretty well. And I, I think that's interesting that you say that we they, we do a play. Uh, the kind of the way that we look at it is that uh, we just start and try to figure out what's already happening mm -hmm. rather than try well, to how, make something up. How does that first line happen? Did you talk about it beforehand? Do you no. know who's going to start? Nope. Uh, just by when the lights, the what happens is we go out and we say the lights go down and the lights, when the lights come back up, we start. And uh, we may be standing or sitting or... And, uh, and one of us will say something based on what the positions we're in or what it seems to look like, mm -hmm. that's all. Never cheat. We don't. Yeah, well, that's good. <laughs>
I was reading on each it. other all the time. <laughs> well, tell me about how you guys how you guys met. I'll improvise with anyone. <laughs> <laughs> well, let me ask you: When you met and you decided to be a duo, was it anything like the dating courtship process? Uh, Matt, Matt, head over heels, head <laughs> over heels. Uh, I guess so. And then it's just a improv bunch of at first fucking. sight. <laughs> <laughs> no, uh, we we did like in the first year. I think we did. 52 shows together and knew each other for about 80 hours or spent about 80 hours to together yeah so. and now we travel so we spend more time with each other and stuff but yeah. uh but yeah we we uh we never worked together before we did a show once with a group and then uh we decided to try something just the two of us yeah and uh been that was uh seven years ago were there any thoughts that hey we our looks our different looks complement each other well, do, do we they? yin and yang. <laughs> uh, no. No. <laughs> no, we didn't. We didn't even consider that. Just uh, I, uh, I enjoy uh, wha uh, what he does. Okay. And, uh, and I think we look stunningly similar. <laughs> <laughs> One of the things I loved about the show were the little moments. For instance, in the show I saw, you guys were sitting in a car, and the light was red and you started wondering whether the car was on the sensor that would tell the other light to turn green. Right. And I was wondering how, are those little moments something that you guys find important? And when you have a good one, do you ever think to yourself, wow, that was awesome? Uh, I, the he always thinks, wow, that was <laughs> awesome. Uh, no, I, I don't think we do. And, and I think that's what we did. Like, the story will kind of take care of itself. And we just, while we're cruising along, we try to figure out, well, what is actually, you know, the, the things that are of interest during the day anyway. Mm -hmm. And those, that's, oh, this, this might be fun to explore for a little while. Do you ever go near, in the show I saw you didn't, do you ever go near current events or politics? Um, if it, well... What? Why are you, right, you go? Just as much as my own interest in current events or politics carries me, which is zero. <laughs> Absolute. I try to remove myself entirely from any of those ideas. Really? What did you think? Of, what did you think of Tom Gagan? I'm sorry. Whom? <laughs> <laughs> Do you ever get tired of of talking about improv? Hopefully not right now. But. Um, it's weird. It's like uh, talking about comedy is uh, is the sh is the has a soporific effect. I mean, it's just it it, t it just sucks the funny out of anything. Just the, a, a a discussion, a serious discussion about comedy or something. But uh, I just happen to love improvisation, so I never get tired of it. I just I just think it's I just think it's amazing. It's I think it's beyond comedy, quite frankly. It's uh, well, that's the way to fix the world. Tell me, tell me about that. Why do you love it so much? Uh, because of the principles that it's based on, and uh, just the idea of uh, I, I, these principles that we use for to make a scene better are also helpful in in other areas of one's life. I love talking about it all the time. <laughs> <laughs> in fact, I keep up a fairly steady drinking habit at local taverns just to stay available to other people who want to talk about it. <laughs> David, you're you're uh, you were quoted as saying, "My dad said." I understand why you're doing it, but why do people come to see it? Yeah. Well, my dad is a wise man. <laughs> has, he, has he changed? Has he seen it and changed his tune? Um, wow, that's a question for him. Uh, he, I don't... Uh, yeah, I think so. I think so. I mean, he was watching... What, what that was referring to is when, uh, like, the, uh, the first kind of long-form improvisation as, a perfor as performance, which is back in 1986 or something like that at Cross Currents. And, you know, it was pretty... You had to have an understanding of what, what, what these jag-offs were attempting uh, and to be able to even have any enjoyment out of it at all. And he, he wasn't under, he didn't, so I can understand that, mm -hmm. that point of view. I think it is different now. I think what, uh, what uh, I think it's, I don't know. <laughs>